the story of Wilfred and the magic wand. In a land far away and a time long ago, there lived an old man called Wilfred. Wilfred was no ordinary man, he was a wizard. On his head sat a black pointy hat and he wore a long red cloak that glowed like fire. Just to prove he was a wizard, he had the longest silver beard you have ever seen and best of all, a magic wand. The village where Wilfred lived was a very special place because it, it always stayed summer. The sun shone daily, the flowers bloomed and the trees blossomed with fruit. Wilfred spent his days in the green meadow collecting all kinds of herbs and plants to make his magic potions. One day he gathered the animals of the meadow together and said, There are too many flowers for me to pick by myself. I'll need some help. I'll help, squeaked Felicity Field Mouse. I'll help too, said Herman Hedgehog in a deep voice. We'll soon get the job done, said the wizard, sounding pleased. The story of Wilfred and the Cranky Crab. In a land far away and long ago, there lived a wizard. Not far from the wizard's meadow, at the seaside, under the waves, there lived a cranky crab called Cornelius. Cornelius lived in a beautiful underwater world. In fact, it was the most beautiful place in the whole wide ocean. The seabed was made of shiny white pearls, bright colored coral, and thousands and thousands of tiny shells. You might wonder why Cornelius was so cranky when he lived in such a wonderful place. Well, Cornelius was a lazy crab, and he just didn't want to work. Who wants to work? I'd rather be sunning myself on my favorite rock. He grumbled to himself as he stood guard over the clam kingdom. One day he was feeling so lazy, he did just that. Up he clambered out of the water and onto his favorite rock. No sooner had he got settled than the ocean beneath him went very still and quiet. Peering down, he could see a dark shadow under the blue water. Oh no! It's Samuel, the short-sighted swordfish. He wailed and quickly plopped back down into the water. Samuel wasn't wearing his glasses, and he was headed straight for the royal seaweed forest. Stop, Samuel! Yelled Cornelius, waving his claws madly around his head. But Cornelius was too late. Samuel swam smack into the middle of the forest, cutting and slashing the seaweed as he went. The forest was in ruins. A sheepish Samuel, trailing torn strands of seaweed, said, Sorry, Cornelius. Why weren't you wearing your glasses? raged Cornelius, hopping up and down angrily. What am I going to tell the head clam? Cornelius cried. Hmm. Was all Samuel could say, which wasn't the least bit helpful. Just then, an all-knowing electric eel swam by and left a trail of glowing letters. Sink is a wizard? Read Samuel and Cornelius together. Where do we find the wizard? Cornelius called out, but the eel had already swam away. It's easy. All you have to do is follow the stream to the enchanted meadow, said a passing seahorse. 